What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin awesome Show. Today we're looking at the new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, Chakahachi and Lotus action figures. So again, continue on with our target holothon figures of Chakahachi and Lotus. So both of these look cool. Of course, they're characters I've never really seen or heard of before, but they look cool. So we have Chakahachi, which is like a ghost guy, and then Lotus is almost like a stand-in for Karai from the comic series and stuff, but both look really cool. And around on the back, we have the pictures. You can see better pictures of them there with some accessories and stuff they'll come with, but both look cool and I'm excited to check them out so let me go ahead and get these open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. So we're going to start off with Chakahachi, which was the leader of the Chakahachi clan and a powerful sorcerer who tragically lost his wife and vowed not to stop looking for her. And upon his death, he was placed in an urn and in modern days, that urn was shattered and he emerged as a ghost to seek out his wife. And he finally stopped searching when he saw Lotus and realized that she contained the spirit of his wife and he was able to then rest in peace now that he found her. So he looks pretty cool overall here and he's supposed to be a ghost. So that's why he's got this all blue skin and stuff. So it's supposed to be, you know, a ghost and everything which is kind of cool but he has that cool like Japanese design to him stuff like an old samurai or whatever looks pretty cool so there we got his face again in the all blue because of the ghost but the nice yellow eyes since he's dead and stuff and then his hair I like all being up in the like ponytail thing up the top there so that's cool and he's got the all like blue it's almost like a teal color outfit on so like the upper sections with like the leather covering over top and the red straps going around into it and of course the cell sheen with the darker colors on the back nice wrap around the waist and some of the material hanging down he's got holders on for his weapons and then we got some baggy pants so baggy pants up top going down to legs so he's got the leg coverings again in the same like teal collar with some black up front all the way down to the feet where i think these would normally be his feet but since, since they're brown i don't know what they're supposed to be if he's got like some shoe design on or something but you can see he's got like some sort of like sandal on there that looks pretty cool and then he also has this piece on his arm i assume it's supposed to be just like a shoulder like armor piece but it just has a weird design to it and it sort of flaps back and forth and stuff so not sure exactly what it is i know if like you raise the arm it gets out of the way and can be at its side like down here but again overall i don't know what that's supposed to be exactly so it's kind of weird it just added on there to his arm but we'll do his movement so his head can twist all the way around so of course it's the neck so probably stiffened up some but can twist around and look down that far and up that far so definitely not the best movements in the head there shoulders can come up pretty close to 90 if you force it there up to 90 and rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist up there as well so down inside the sleeve bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend up that far so pretty good the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth again the joints stiffened up so it's hard to do but it can flex back and forth he's got an ab crunch and twist at the waist so crunch back and forth again very little but it does crunch a little there and can twist around then the hips can come up about that far so just over 45 and out to the side has a little bit of a thigh twist up in there a double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back and it does have some rotation in it as well the ankle can twist all the way around and the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side so he has some issues with the joints just because of stiffening back up from us heating it up but at least he's still functions and can stand up and don't really have any issues with that but I think he looks pretty good at least especially for trying to do that ghost effect with the blue skin now for accessories we get some additional hands so we have some open hands with like the fingers out or almost like claw hands whatever you want to call it just open hands and then we also get some grip hands there and possibly for those grip hands we get some weapons so we have a sword so we have a sheath with a katana in it so with this we can put onto his belt so we have the two holes there we'll have to slide these in so it's easy to slide this in if you start at this side and just push it in through the back there because it's got the smallest area so it'll fit inside there and it even has a little like plastic piece on the back that's kind of like a stopper so you know exactly where to stop it so there we have the sword sheath in and we can slide the sword back so it sits right in there and then we also have a little sword or a little dagger whatever you want to call it so a little tiny blade here and we can do the same thing with it putting it in the top section and with that and we can stick the blade in there so there he's got both the blades there on his side now so he can use those but what's really cool about this and with him being a sorcerer is that he has magical effects so we have some different magic effects so we have this big ball and I like how it's got like this pinkest collar but it looks like it's hollow in the inside and has a little bit of see-throughness to it so we have this effect we have a little flame effect and then we also have an effect that goes up on the arm and can like be shooting out of his hands so I'll probably switch some of his hands out to put these in because I think they look cool so there I got the hand switch out so there you can have that flame like shooting out of his hand and then he's got a little flame held in this other hand so that looks pretty cool and probably what I would have him displayed like because that just looks really cool so very awesome that Chakachi not like a major character only probably appeared once but still I think really cool and with the flame effects just add some really coolness to him with him being a ghost and stuff so really cool for this figure overall.
And also from this pack, we have Lotus or Lotus Blossom, which is a ninja from Japan that temporarily replaced Shredder when she easily defeated him. And she was hired by Krang to destroy the turtles, but she ended up developing romantic feelings for Leonardo. And overall, she looks cool. As I mentioned in the opening, she's kind of like Karai, which if you know her from the comics or the early 2000s turtle series, Karai was a big character in that. And I think sometimes the daughter of Shredder, but kind of takes over at points and also sometimes is friends with the turtles and sometimes against them. But I think she looks cool. She looks just pretty much like a standard girl so we have her face there which her face looks a little bit weird like face wise is nothing real bad just down here at the, her mouth so I assume she has this black line to be like her mouth area and then like this section where my fingers touching is supposed to be her lower lip and then a shadow underneath that but with just the way it is it almost looks like she's sticking her tongue out or just something looks really weird like the black's her lipstick and then just the middle section's her tongue sticking out or something so just looks a little bit weird there but otherwise the face looks good and the hair is pretty nice it's a big thick just section so it's you know not a whole lot to it but I like these little strands that are kind of just stuck off to the side so it shows that there's not just one solid piece there is actual hair in there so I like that detail and then she's just in an all gray ninja outfit so it's just an all gray outfit top to bottom so not a whole lot to it she has a black sash around into the belt and then some black boots on her feet that have the toes on there so look pretty nice and some little coverings down on the hands so not a whole lot to her but I think she looks nice overall now for moons we have a head that can twist around should be able to get all the way around it's kind of hard with her hair but you can get it there and she can look down that far and then up just pretty much straight on there and I assume she has the joint up in the head as well as the lower neck there for back and forth. The shoulders can come up to 90 and rotate all the way around. We get the double elbow joints so we have the upper joint and lower joint so with both of those we can bend it at least that far and then there is rotation in both of those areas as well. Wrist can twist all the way around and flex back and forth. We have a gap crunch and twist at the waist so crunch back and forth and twist around. The hips can come up that far and out to the side. Little bit of a thigh twist up in there. The double knee joint that can bend up that far at least pretty stiff and hard to get but can bend up there and then we get the foot that flexes back and forth and can twist side to side so her joints are pretty stiff and doesn't offer the best movements but she's not absolutely horrible and now accessories for her first we get an additional head so we have a fully mask covered head there so if you don't want to have her hair and everything you can completely cover there as a ninja she comes with some additional hands so she has just like flat palm hands so we get some grip hands so she can hold some different weapons and stuff she also comes with some grip hands with really small grips and just for one of her accessories she comes with so we have those and then weapon wise first we get a katana and a sheath so we have a sheath and then the katana inside and with this similar to chakachi we have a place on the back that we can stick it into so let's slide it in so there's the sheath and sword there on her back and her hair is still gets out of the way with the way it's designed she's just looking down a little bit more now but it still can fit on there together and looks cool and you can obviously easily pull that out and put it into her hand and stuff but we'll just leave it there for now and her other weapon is a bow and arrow so we have a bow and an arrow here that goes together so obviously you can't fire the bow together and probably be hard to get it into her hand but I like how it even has an actual string for the bow and stuff so that's cool so let's maybe switch out one of her grip hands and put this in it okay so unfortunately for her hand design she only has the flex back and forth so not an up and down so it's really hard to get the bow into her hand like I don't know how you get this posed up for her to use it just because she can only hold it there and move back and forth and stuff so I don't know exactly how you get that in her hand but we can have her at least just standing here holding the bow like she was using it and I went and switched her other hand out for one of those small grips for the accessory she comes with of an actual lotus blossom or a lotus plant so that looks really nice with the nice purple colors and the green stem and stuff so we can put this into her hand so there's the lotus in her hand unfortunately with the way it's designed stuff it almost looks like she's just holding a pinwheel so kind of funny that she has that but it is included there at least and then finally she comes with a scent analyzer which is used in part of the episode and stuff so she has a scent analyzer with a big nose on the end of it like a vacuum cleaner and you can smell for stuff so we just have this as well that we could put into her hand if we wanted to but I just want lotus to look like she is here with her weapons and then the holding that lotus blossom so she looks pretty good not the best figure ever and could be a little better especially with the hands for grips and stuff but that's what she comes with and i think she's just fine well that gives us our two characters from the set of chakahachi and lotus blossom both i think look really cool like i said definitely not necessary characters they barely appeared in the show at all but i think they're both really cool and nice character designs and stuff and overall fit pretty well with our cartoon NECA collection and with those we can bring in a turtle for side comparisons we'll go and bring in leonardo since him and lotus have a connection and stuff and you can see just how tall they are compared to the turtles so turtles are very short and the characters at least are much better height wise and stuff especially for chakahachi being your average man size and probably lotus being the normal female so just want to show those you could see how tall they are compared to the turtles and overall it's a pretty decent set like i said definitely not a necessary set but i think it's pretty cool i like different features of each one but they both could also be better at the same time so let me know what you thought of these down in the comments and if you enjoyed this for you let me know with a thumbs up but thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review Thank you.